hey guys welcome back in today's video we will be covering uh, one of the another feature of composite connector salesforce composite connector uh, yes i am talking about the batch processing so in our previous video uh, we have discussed a brief about the composite uh, request how we can execute the composite request and what is the significance of composite so in this particular video we will be uh, continuing that particular thread and we will cover about the batch um, uh, operations within composite resources so batch uh, it allows up to 25 separate unrelated actions which can be executed using a single call each executes independently and information is not at all shared between the calls so significant difference between the composite and batch is uh, in composite all the response from one action can be used as input to the subsequent uh, other action whereas in batch each call or each unrelated actions are being executed independently and there is no information being exchanged between the uh, two respective calls so in order to understand it in a better way what i will do uh, i will refer the developer portal of salesforce so it is having a very uh, detailed and uh, enriching information available for this composite uh, API REST API calls. So let's have a look over there and then we will jump back to our endpoint studio for a practical use case. So this is the developer.salesforce.com. You can, you can also make this as a bookmark for your reference. So we will be discussing more about this like uh, the batch it executes about 25 sub request in a single request and response bodies and http status of the subsequent request in a batch are written in a single response body each sub request counts against rate limit as well the request within a batch are called sub request all sub requests are executed in the order in the context of the same user and there is no information you can pass in between the two sub requests these are executed serially in the order in the request of the body in which they appear and the uh, when a sub, sub, sub request executes successfully it commits its data and commits are reflected in the output of the later sub requests so in case if a sub batch request doesn't complete within 10 minutes of time frame the batch will time out and the remaining sub request will not be executed so the first of the sub request will execute it will commit then it will go the uh, the control will go to the next uh, available sub request for the execution okay so it uh, here refers about 34th version of api for batch of uh, for batching for the following resources like limit as object resources query query all so it is talking, talking about all the connected resources, chat resources. We will not be covering all these things, but these are just for reference. The latest version currently available is 35. So now let's go to the next. And uh, this talks about the batch request body, how it, it will look like. So it is having a batch request and subsequent request will be in the collection of sub request to execute. So here it is an example. It is a JSON example in which batch request is having a array of sub requests which are being executed independently of each other. So what it is trying to do over here is it is trying to update an existing account. This is the ID of the account and it is changing the name whatever is existing to new name and in the second call it is trying to fetch the detail of the same uh, account with its name and billing postal code we will try to replicate the same uh, scenario in our practical use case as well uh, after that it talks about the different uh, elements uh, which can be available within the sub request of this batch uh, it is having binary part name binary part name alias but the one which is of our interest here in this particular use case will be the method like get patch 
rich input that is the input for the body request and the type depends on the request specified in the url property url will be the like this one whether it is an account or or it could be a contact or whatever depending on the use case it could differ and accordingly this rich input value will also be uh, will be changing every time okay now um, this is taking the same example let me show you the response of this particular request as well so it will return as has error whether it is having any error or not after that it will give the status of the individual calls the first was the patch the status code is 204 successful after that there was a get for which the status code is written as 200 and within the result it is having attributes with type and url and the requested uh, attributes which we have uh, asked in the get operation you can refer to this particular use case or uh, this particular url to understand uh, more about the batch uh, execution but uh, as a part of our anypoint studio uh, practical let's jump on to the anypoint studio first so this is the anypoint studio and we are using the same project and uh, within the salesforce composite you can look out for this composite batch execute composite batch just drag and drop over here and once you uh, once you uh, drag and drop this particular activity onto the canvas then just configure the same salesforce composite config which we have explained in the previous uh, video same consumer key secret username then the password security token and token endpoint let me quickly show you the configuration file as well no not this one sorry so this is the username token endpoint and the authorization url will remain same the password security token will be specific to your username and consumer key and consumer secret can be obtained at the time of connected app creation okay so this was about it and let me go back to the message flow once again so once you drag and drop this execute composite uh, batch just put a transformer uh, or a transform message in front of it what it will do it will mimic the uh, the expected uh, structure which is required by execute composite batch it is having a batch request as the main header or the main element after that it is having an array of objects in which method URA and the rich input uh, with the uh, with the field name are the mandatory fields or you can say the expected fields it expects a Java object so here you can see I have just uh, uh, taking the reference to the payload so what I am trying to do I will create uh, this payload exactly in this particular structure so that I don't have to do a lot of transformation at this particular uh, logic level there could be a chances like you need to implement some custom transformation so you can you can modify this particular transform message according to your requirements let me check if the console is up and running yes it is and go back to the postman so this is the execute batch which will be listening on this particular listener execute batch if you go to the advanced it is a post method okay and now it is an array which is having two calls in it the first one is going to patch this particular account id and then we are going to uh, retrieve the values of name and billing postal code for this particular uh, this particular uh, or, uh, uh, account so uh, let me let me put something different and let me go back to the uh, salesforce over here and here you can see gcp offerings is already an existing uh, account let me refresh it so gcp offerings uh, qa2 starting 001 till qa2 is the id for this particular account 
and you can see I am referring the same one. So instead of GCP offering, this time I will be putting the value as GCP platform. And after that, I will try to pick up the value of name and billing postal code. My Anypoint Studio is already running. I will uh, give it a hit. I will change this text to JSON. And here you can see whether the overall batch is having any error false so it means it is all successful after that the result tag will follow the first is 204 that is for the patch gc platform it is successfully executed so let's check it i am going to refresh the salesforce platform url and here you can see uh, it is changed to platform the same and after that i am going to take the values of name and billing postal code so billing is gcp platform and this is the postal code so let's quickly check so here you can see the billing postal code is also coming up like that and this is the id qa2 qa2 on this one only and here you can see this is the same id which we are referring so this particular video was all about how we can execute the batch processing using the composite salesforce connector I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.